The idea with a clean break is what you're doing is stopping the cycle of transmission. You're not going to put any more fuel on your fire. <laughs> Whatever analogy you want to use to do it, you want to figure out how not to add any more animals to the exposed group of animals. We call this a clean break because sometimes we can think metaphorically, again, of the animals as being kind of clean or dirty, right? So if they're exposed, it's not that we really think the animals are dirty. It's just a way to keep it clear in your mind that we're going to make this break. Sometimes what that means is cleaning out a room of the shelter, moving all those animals to a different place and having one separate place where new animals can come in. Just so you're kind of saying, you know what, it stops here. Whatever it is that's going on, we are not totally sure what it is yet. We're, gonna, we're not sure how we're going to respond yet. Whatever it is, we don't like it, and we're going to have it stop here. <laughs> okay? So we'll come back around and talk a little bit about a clean break. When you really think something bad is going on, the sooner you can get that clean break put in place, the better. That's a real life-saving measure. So here's the kind of how I graphically represent this idea of a clean break. So we make the clean break. The idea behind it is that new incoming cats go this way, and the exposed population goes this way. And ideally, never the twain shall meet. Um, <laughs> So that's what we really want. And so what we want, if we can, is to have separate staff, separate equipment, and both areas treated as isolation. And this last one is often the hardest one for people to understand. Well, why do I need to treat it as isolation? Those are the clean cats. Those are the new cats. Those are the unexposed cats. Sometimes we treat things as isolation as a means of protecting. So we make sure if both areas are treated as isolation that you're not carrying anything back and forth. Um, the thing you want to be really, really careful of is making sure that you're screening your incoming cats as well. <laughs> because if you're not, you can end up with a sick animal or an infected or affected animal going into your clean break area, and now you have two dirty populations, right, to exposed populations. So you always want to have a step of screening as you're establishing this clean break so that you're protecting yourselves from any unexpected um, thing. So this is the thing that you really want to make sure of um, because if you're not screening and moving animals into the exposed population, if they're coming in already exposed, it's really going to throw a wrench in your works.